Hey guys, I'm back. So what I'm going to do today is drain my primary fluid, refill it up with some fresh fluid, and while I'm in there, I'm going to do a clutch adjustment. So to get started on that, first we're going to take off this inspection cover using these three Allen head screws. careful with this gasket. I want to reuse it. Okay, now what I want to do is we are going to go up here and remove there remove that rubber boot like I did push it up here a little bit so you can get to your jam nut you're gonna hold this with a half inch wrench your jam nuts gonna be nine sixteenths you're gonna just loosen it up Okay, now we're going to move the jam nut all the way up top. And I'm going to loosen this up. All I'm trying to do is just loosen it up so I have some play. That's pretty good. Let's go back over here to the inspection cover. Right down here. Is your drain plug. So I'm going to go ahead and drain all the old primary fluid out of here. Using a T40 Torx. You always want to clean off the end of these plugs really good. Really good. I'll, I'll get a rag while oh, that's draining. Yeah, just like your oil drain plug. This has a magnet in there, and it uh, catches any kind of metal debris that might be floating around in there. Now, if you have a lot on there, you might want to check it out. But uh, a few little shavings like that, that's going to happen, especially on an older bike like this. 
I have nothing to worry about. Still draining, kind of slow. Well, normally, I'd like to warm up the bike like I do for oil changes. It'll help that drain out a little easier. But I also want to do a clutch adjustment at the same time. And you're supposed to do a clutch adjustment when the bike is cold. So. That would be the reason I'm not warming the bike up before I do this. So I'll just have to be patient and let as much drain out as can. Alright, while that's draining, I'm going to adjust my clutch. So to do that, I'm going to take off this lock nut that's outside of here. Loosen that up just like that. Now, what I want to do is the adjuster screw here, I want to tighten it up until it lightly seats. Okay, there it is, that's where it lightly seats right there. Now after it's lightly seated, I want to turn it out a half to a whole turn. So, with my Allen facing up, we're facing in this direction right here. I'm going to turn it a half a turn. A whole turn. We'll tighten that back up. There we go. Okay, now I just hit my clutch lever three times to seat the to seat the balls in the clutch. Now we go back to our adjuster over here. Turn it up so you can see. We're gonna need our half and sixteen. Rash hits it again. Now I'm going to tighten this up this time. That should be tightening up my clutch cable there. Oh yeah, that feels good. So I tighten that up, I check this, and I just want a little bit of play in there. You don't want it really tight, but eighth of an inch of play, something like that. Now that I have that done, I'm going to come back here, and now I can tighten up this 9 16 lock nut, so it doesn't go anywhere. Again. I'm going to hold this with a half inch and tighten this up with a 9 16 There we 
There's that. I'm not going to put the boot on yet. I'm going to wait until I um, put it in gear and see how it actually works. So let's go fill this up with fluid so we can do that. All right, that's done draining. Put the drain plug back in it. Again, be very careful not to over tighten these. Okay, now that I have it all done, I have my drain plug put in. Everything is ready and it's ready for some fluid. It's gonna take about three quarters of a quart of this primary oil. Or once you can see it and it's level with that right there on the inside. So right underneath that, that screw not screw, but that hex head bolt. All right, so let's go ahead and fill her up. I'm sure it's easier if you use a funnel, but This is working just fine. Show you what I'm doing here. There you go, you can see better now. Just like everything else, you don't want to overflow, overfill this. Well, it sure is taking a lot more than I thought it would.
All right, well, if you can see in there, it's still not full. I'm not quite sure, so I'm gonna get the book open and just make sure, I don't wanna overfill it. I'll be back, I'll let you know what the book says. All right, so reading the book here, you can see, it shows you the level where it's supposed to be at. And right here, it tells you 32 ounces, which is one quart. So I added one quart, and it's still not where it's supposed to be at. So I'm gonna add some more, because I'd rather have it at the right level I want to fry my primary, so. See how much more it fits in there. All right, if you can see in there, it's at the right level now. It took just over a quart, I'm not sure why, but I'm just uh, glad I have the right amount in there and I had a little bit more to use, so. I'm gonna go ahead and put the gasket back on it. You want to make sure your O-ring is in one of those spots it's supposed to be in here. There we go. cover back on Nice to have your tools ready for you before you start. So these I'm just gonna get started quick. Sometimes it's a pain in the ass. Let's just get them started. There's one. Two. this cover up Primary change and uh, clutch adjustment. I'll go ahead and move this oil out of the way now, start it up, and see how my clutch works. One thing I forgot to say at the beginning of the video, just in case you didn't already notice it, but the bike is sitting upright. I put a brick under the kickstand just so the bike would sit upright. Or you can put it on a jack stand, whatever you prefer. But uh, doing the primary like I did, 
filling it up you always want the bike to separate another thing if you don't have a manual for your bike you need to get one for the price it might cost it'll save you so much money in uh, labor and maintenance that you can do yourself so this was a good buy. All right, let's see how this clutch works. All right, well, that was fun. Now, I might come finish this bike tonight. But if not, then I'll do it tomorrow when I get home from work. So stay tuned for this video to be showing up soon. <laughs>